proportions and scale. So in uh, this tutorial, we're going to con continue looking at various uh, physical cues that help us uh, distinguish uh, small objects from large objects or small characters from large characters. And uh, just to remind you for our definition of size, we take a simple measurement such as the length or the height, say, of a character. So here, uh, Prince Charming is uh, three times the size of a puss. Now, the very important uh, relation which uh, determines many of the physical cues that distinguish uh, size and scale is uh, this relation between area, volume, and size. So uh, the area, or surface area if you will, uh, for an object depends on the square of the size. And the volume depends on the cube of the size. So uh, now the exact mathematical formula may uh, will depend on the geometric shape. So uh, here I have the formula for uh, something which would be a cube, but uh, essentially aside from a few geometric factors, uh, we still have these relations for area and volume. Uh, here you see a very simple example. Uh, when we uh, take the small, uh, small rectangular uh, block and the large uh, block. Uh, when I double the size of the block, uh, say doubling the height, then the uh, area uh, goes up by a factor of four. It's rather obvious from the photo. And then if you count the uh, individual elements, the volume goes up by a factor of eight. Now, it turns out that uh, this relationship among uh, area, volume, and size uh, is the same no matter what the shape of the object. So uh, even something which is, a, uh, say, the shape of a flower pot, if we, have a, if we have a flower pot, say, and we make another flower pot which has exactly the same shape but is simply three times the size, so it would be three times taller, but, but the same shape, same proportions, uh, then that flower pot will uh, have nine times the area. It's three times the size, it'll have nine times the area, so it would take nine times more paint uh, to paint it, uh, and it would have 27 times the volume, so it would take 27 times more clay to um, make that pot. Uh, here on the side there's a little table that shows you uh, just these numbers if you don't want to bother with the calculation. Uh, so uh, notice that uh, of course both area and volume increase with increasing size but uh, volume increases at a faster rate than, than area. This is going to be essential for establishing many of the physical cues for scale. So uh, let's start with something as simple as uh, body weight. So uh, body weight is proportional to volume. So uh, in this example, as we uh, change the size by a factor of three, the body weight um, changes by a factor of 27. So if we have a six foot a character that weighs 180 pounds, uh, the exact same character only made three times smaller will have um, 27 times uh, less weight, so it'll only be about seven pounds. This is kind of similar to a cat size. Uh, on the other hand, if the make the character three times uh, taller, uh, then the weight increases by a factor of 27 and so it's uh, over two tons. Now, muscle and bone strength 
are proportional to area. So uh, as the size increases, the um, say the muscle uh, volume increases, but uh, the strength of a muscle doesn't depend on its volume. It depends on its uh, cross-sectional area because that would give you the number of muscle fibers uh, in the muscle. A similar uh, result for uh, bone strength, or in fact, for strength of materials in general. So you see uh, here we have two cylinders and when we increase the size by a factor of three, the area increases by a factor of nine. Now, uh, going back to our example of the three characters, uh, the amount of weight that each character can lift depends on the strength of the character's muscles. So let's say that the um, medium size, the normal size character uh, can lift uh, 90 pounds. And if the character weighs 180 pounds, that's half of their body weight. Now, the, the tiny character is three times smaller in size. The area is nine times smaller, so the muscles are nine times uh, weaker. So the small character can only lift uh, 10 pounds with those tiny muscles. That said, the character only weighs seven pounds, so that 10 pounds is actually 150% of the character's body weight. So uh, in a sense, this character is strong for its size because it can lift 150% um, of its body weight, whereas the uh, medium-sized character can only lift half of uh, his body weight. Going to the giant character, the giant character has giant muscles. Those giant muscles can lift a lot of weight. Uh, the giant character can lift 810 pounds, but the giant character also has a huge uh, body weight. And so that 810 pounds is, uh, is only 17% of the character's body weight. In fact, that's uh, 810 pounds is um, roughly the weight of that character's leg. So uh, this character would actually have trouble uh, lifting its own legs um, given its uh, size. Now, this uh, leads to a number of uh, physical cues for um, animals. Uh, since uh, bone strength is similar to muscle strength in that it depends on the uh, cross-sectional area, uh, small animals uh, can have uh, thin bones, whereas uh, large animals, in order to support their weight, uh, need to have proportionally thicker bones. So um, we see this just in a measurement of the skeletal fraction. So uh, the skeleton is only 9% of the total weight of a rabbit, whereas uh, for an elephant, the skeleton is 27% uh, of the um, uh, weight of an elephant. Uh, you can see this would put an ultimate limit on the uh, size of an animal, since uh, you can't have an animal that, that's all skeleton. Now, a related um, uh, physical cue that uh, determine, is determined by size is the uh, posture of the animal. So uh, in order to support its weight with its bones, uh, the bones get thicker, but uh, the posture of the animal also gets straighter. So the, the straighter the posture, the less... Um, mechanical uh, strain there is on the bones. And so the uh, larger animals need to have a straighter posture. Uh, otherwise, their bones would have to be uh, even even thicker. So, uh, so when you see the posture of an animal, this uh, 
gives you an indication of its uh, size. Uh, we see this in um, often in character design. So here in uh, these dragons from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, uh, because they are roughly the size of iguanas, their posture is closer to that of an iguana than it would be for a larger lizard like a Komodo dragon or a smaller lizard like um, this uh, tree lizard. So uh, this uh, relation is often uh, bent uh, because you want to create a different feel for a character, but nevertheless, uh, this uh, just from the posture, you already have a sense of what type of animal and what size that animal would be. Uh, closely related to this is the uh, bending strength. So if you uh, have a, a branch or a, a, a beam, uh, the larger it is, the more it's going to bend under its own weight. Uh, this is actually a result that goes back to Galileo when he was uh, doing his study of, uh, of uh, science. Uh, so he pointed out this uh, scaling relationship between uh, strength going as area, weight going as volume, so uh, larger things bend more under their own weight. Uh, you see this in this uh, photo from showing a thread, a string, and a rope that the relative stiffness is a physical cue for for size. So even though the thread, the string, and the rope are made of, of similar materials, there's a difference between the um, stiffness of the uh, thread relative to its uh, weight compared to string and, and rope. Uh, similar to this is the squash deformation because the surface force that maintains the shape of something varies with area, but the total weight of what's being um, uh, maintained is uh, proportional to volume. So uh, small droplets tend to be more spherical, larger droplets tend to be more flattened, and we see similar um, shape uh, dependence in uh, these animals like the harbor seal, which is smaller, and the elephant seal, which is larger. Then uh, one last uh, relation here is the time it takes for something to burn or dissolve is also a physical cue for size, since the, um, the rate of burning or dissolving depends on area and the total amount that has to be burned or dissolved goes as the volume. So uh, small uh, pieces of wood are consumed quickly, large logs are consumed slowly, uh, an ice cube would melt much faster than, a, than an iceberg. Um, grains of uh, sugar dissolve quickly compared to uh, sugar cubes, uh, so forth. So we'll see um, this also has an important um, effect on the size of uh, animals in terms of uh, digestion and such. So in, uh, in summary, uh, area and volume both increase with size but there's an important result that they increase at different rates, with volume increasing faster. Uh, weight goes as volume, while strength, uh, could be bone strength, muscle strength, uh, stiffness of a material, that um, goes as area. Large animals have proportionally thicker bones, and also they stand straighter in order to support their weight. Uh, the larger an object is, the more it tends to sag proportionally under its own weight. So um, this uh, visual uh, indication of uh, how much something is sagging tends to uh, give us a sense of the size. And then finally, the larger uh, the object, an object is, the longer it takes for it to um, burn or to dissolve. And, as I said, we'll, we'll see how that applies to establishing the uh, size and scale of, of animals in the next uh, tutorials.